Shalom Yashrallah, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakurash, the bonds to the apostles and others of great millstone who rule and who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Aki I'm pushing this way in truth and in sincerity with charity. All right. We have to forgive our brother. We have to forgive one another. And remember that what? We're still in the flesh, you see? And that we're rehearsing the righteous acts. So sometimes you might rub your brother off in the wrong way. All right. You might offend him. You know, you see, and uh, um, knowing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, knowing these scriptures, having the understanding, we're supposed to apply the scriptures, you see, and not let your flesh, uh, you know, win and, 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 you know, seep in pride, you see. You know, if we're calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, teaching uh, this truth, we should be able to go to our brother and speak to our brother, all right? No matter what happens, because at the end of the day, we're still brothers. So we have to love one another as brothers and treat each other as brothers, you see? So let's apply to these scriptures. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone, you see? If he shall hear thee, thou has gained thy brother. All right? So you should be able to go to your brother and, and talk to him and let him know what's the deal, what's going on, you know? Verse 16, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. All right? So, hey, nonetheless, we're going to figure this out. Whether you hear a brother or not, hey, you're supposed to bring two or three witnesses, you see. Verse 17, and if he shall neglect to hear them, then tell it, I'm sorry, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican, you see. Let him be as a heathen man, meaning one of the other nations, man, all right. Or, or a publican, you know. One of these tax collectors, you see, but hey, you know, we're trying to win our brothers over, but hey, in the case that we can, then he's out, you see, and that's why the Lord says many in that day will say, Lord, Lord, that's really saying, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, didn't we prophesy in your name, right, didn't we cast out devils in your name, see, because there's a lot of men, right, that know the name of the Lord, that are out here on the highways and byways, you see, but they're not the elect. Not everyone that's in the truth is one of, is, is the 144,000. All right. Listen, that's a scary thing. Many, many shall say, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to say, I, I never knew you. You know? And that's why we have to examine ourselves. Because, hey, um, you know, let me, let me get this. Because the scripture says this. Um, yeah, um, this is the book of first John chapter four, verse 20. If a man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he is a liar for he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen. How can he love God who he had not seen? All right. So, hey, you can't avoid your brother. You need to make peace with your brother, you see? And if a brother's not hearing you, then you got to take it up, all right? Verse 21, And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also, you see? So we have to love one another, man, all right? There's no uh, getting around that. This is Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Put on, therefore, as, as the elect of God, you know, this is what the elect would do, right? Holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shai, 
forgave you, so also do ye. All right? So we have to forgive one another, man, no matter what it is. All right? Being this truth, hey, we, we could, we could uh, uh, you know, make peace, you see, and then continue to move forward, man. But if, if you can't make peace with a brother that's in the truth, all right, and you're calling on Yahweh Bashim Shai, you see, and you're going to the altar, the, you know, we, the Day of Atonement passed so not too long ago, all right, hey, you're supposed to leave your gift at the altar and make peace with your brother, you know? These things uh, should put fear in you, all right? But pride has seeped in, all right? And it's taken over, man. The devil's winning if you let that happen. And that's why we got to constantly examine ourselves, pray, and fast, all right? Even get wise counsel, okay? Because, hey, we're to forgive one another, especially a brother in the truth, Right, let's go back to Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till so seven times? So Peter's asking, so how many times sh you know, should I forgive him? You know, should, is it a, seven times? Is that good? After that, no more forgiveness, right? This is what the Lord said. This is verse 22, Matthew 18 and 22. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times seven, all right? So an infinite amount of number, man, perfect. You see, all right? Here it is, we, we've all fell short, we've all committed sin, we're all worthy of death. And, and the one who died for all of us while we were yet sinners is telling us, hey, if your brother sinned against you and he turns to you and he asks for forgiveness, you have to forgive him, man. All right? You have to make peace with him. That's what the Lord is telling us, man. You see? Let's hear it again because, hey, the Most High speaketh once, once he speaketh twice. Twice, you see? This is Luke 17, chapter 17, verse 3. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. All right? Even correct him. You see, a righteous man, he, he's going to welcome that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let the righteous smite me. It'll be a, a, like a precious oil, what, what King David say. All right. We got to know these scriptures, man. All right. If thy brother trespass against me, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. You see? Verse four. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. All right? So, hey, you, you got to lose that pride, you know? If it's on you, you got to lose pride and forgive your brother, man. All right? Remember, we're all we got. It's us against the whole world. All right? You're hoping to be of the elect, so am I. I'm striving for this truth unto death, man. All right? Aren't we all? We're supposed to be brotherly, man. Remember that. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And, and verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, get, uh, forgiving one another, even as the Most High for Yahweh Shai's sake hath forgiven you. You see? So again, if you say you love the most high, but you hate your brother, you avoid your brother, you know, then really the most high is not in you, man. All right, because how can you love the most high, but you can't love the brother that's fighting for this truth just as you are, that you see? Nah, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. And that's why, you know, if that's the case for some of you brothers, hey, you need to examine yourselves, pray and fast, Get wise counseling, all right? And take heed to what the scriptures are saying, man. Uh, uh, make peace with your brother. Forgive one another, man. You're, you know? This is, hey, listen. This right here is, is going to cost your salvation if you don't take heed. You know? You ain't going to make it. If you have ought with your brother, you're not going to make it. It doesn't matter how many videos you do. It doesn't matter if you go to the highways and byways every week. 
if you don't forgive your brother, if you don't make peace with your brother that you have ought with, you have a problem with, the Most High is not dealing with you, man. You're delusional. You see? You got to make peace. You got to hey, fight that flesh and, and get rid of that pride and make peace with your brother, man. Is that serious? It's life or death. This could cost you your salvation. All right? Pride is a hell of a drug, man. Stay the fuck away from pride, brothers. I'm telling you. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 28, verse 2. Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. One man beareth hatred against another, and does he seek pardon from the Lord? He showeth no mercy to a man which is like himself, and does he ask for forgiveness of his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourish hatred, who will entreat for pardon for his sins? All right. So yeah, I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope brothers take heed. All right. Remember, we're in the flesh. We, you know, we're going to make mistakes. All right. We may offend a brother. All right. But the grown man thing to do is to go face your brother one on one and make peace. And if he doesn't hear you, then you take two or three more witnesses. You see, and if Hey, if they don't hear the two, the, the two or three more witnesses, then you take it up to the church. You know, I mean, th this shit is real, man. All right. So let's apply the scriptures. All right. And, and hey, with that, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash, the bonus to the apostles and others of great millstone, who rule one, who, who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and its sincerity with charity. Shalom, wa, ba, ba, ba.